One of the earliest uses of the shuttle is for space lab missions. For the first time, an entire laboratory the size of a school bus can be hauled into space in the shuttle payload bay and returned to Earth. Built by the European Space Agency, Space Lab is a prime example of early international cooperation in space. The shuttle missions allow scientists and researchers from around the globe to participate in the high-flying experiments. But why conduct science in space? By going into space, it allows us to be able to study everything that we can think of without the presence of gravity. And if you think about it, everything that we've done in the laboratories here on Earth, all the science that we have, have had the presence of gravity. And so this is a very, very unique opportunity that we have so we can find out just how gravity uh, affects all different kinds of systems. The Space Lab missions conduct research in fluid physics, life science, material science, combustion science, and other disciplines. Shuttle science missions also study the Earth itself, aiming instruments located in the shuttle payload bay to monitor the Earth's ozone layer. The shuttle also launches satellites to further observe the Earth's atmosphere. Over time, the data gives researchers important information about our changing planet. The shuttle also orbits the Earth with a series of radar mapping missions, allowing us to view the features of our world with a new level of detail. Radar missions that shuttle flew ushered in a very quiet revolution in Earth mapping. Whether it is flying in an airplane, whether it is climbing a mountain, whether it is building a bridge, all those kinds of human activities require accurate topographic information. And shuttle enabled that science to happen with the advanced radar technology that was flown. Okay, but then just find like a whole bunch of science, don't like just find one. Shuttle missions also allow students to participate in science. Two programs, KidSat and EarthCam, allow students to make Earth observations using a remote controlled camera on the shuttle. For the first time, students take an active role in a space mission. My name is Ebony Miranda. We want to know if you can start the car on top of the track. Okay, let's try the top. Astronauts also take advantage of space to partake in educational events with students from around the world. In the microgravity of space, experiments are filmed and distributed to schools for further learning opportunities. The shuttle is not only a science vessel. Commercial clients from around the world take advantage of the shuttle's capability to carry satellites into space. Yes, it proves the physics of Frisbees works up here as well as it does on the ground. Space hardware of all shapes and sizes launches from the shuttle payload bay. And you'd, you'd point the orbiter in the right direction and spin these babies up and eject them out. And then about half a rev later, those motors would burn and the thing was pointed in the right direction to take it on its way to uh, the final orbit. A great capability that, uh, that the orbiter provided. Before the shuttle, if a satellite malfunctioned in space, it became multi-million dollar space junk. The shuttle gives ailing satellites a second chance, offering rescue and repair missions. I guess all we can do is kind of sit here and Wait for the right opportunity. And I've got anything else on my dance card. Oh. All got a good grip? Yes, sir. Just I think we got a satellite. The shuttle scenario of having people, 
and a work platform in space benefits all types of space hardware. But one repair job stands out above the rest, a space telescope named Hubble. Launched in 1990, Hubble is to float high above the haze of Earth's atmosphere, free to view the cosmos with unprecedented clarity. But when scientists get the first pictures back, the results are less than spectacular. Hubble has a flaw in its primary mirror, resulting in fuzzy imagery. NASA mounts a repair mission to try and salvage the telescope. Using the shuttle payload bay as a work platform, astronauts conduct a series of spacewalks to fix the telescope. The shuttle releases the Hubble once again. Scientists soon discover the mission is a success. Hubble's vision is restored and the Space Telescope begins rewriting astronomy books with every new stunning image. I think the public had not a terrific view into what the universe is like until we had the Hubble Space Telescope. As a result, people associate those images with the beauty of the universe, the numbers and the answers we get about the universe beginning with the Big Bang and the age and chemical elements being built in stars, turning into planets, uh, solar systems, all of that information mixed in with these beautiful pictures has allowed Hubble to actually be an icon for science and an icon for the answer to fundamental questions. From science in a space laboratory, to launching satellites, to studying the Earth, to saving a telescope, the shuttle and the people behind it show a new diversity in spaceflight capability.